So far, everything we've written has been pretty perfect. But you're probably not going to be that good when you get the code. So, for instance, you might write a line of code that looks like this. Now, one of the first keys I want to suggest to you as a coder is never write a second line of code when your first line of code is an error. Code errors always trickle down, if you will. If I don't fix the first one, I might be creating errors in the second one, and so on and so forth. And so, for the most part, if I correct each error as I, as I write it, I won't be making more and more errors and make it more complex as it goes. It's not to say that you know how to complete the error, fix the error right away. It takes some research, some reading, some study to do that. But the tool is here to help you. As we said, every time you save the code, and sometimes even before you save the code, NetBeans will compile that code for you and give you this little light bulb with a red exclamation point in it to say there's an error. And when I mouse over that error, it's going to tell me it cannot find symbol. Okay, the symbol is class string. The location is in the welcome NetBeans class I'm working on. It says unclosed character literal, not a statement, unclosed character literal. Now, it's a little confusing there because there's actually two errors on this line of code. It's difficult to tell what's going on unless you have a lot of expertise and experience in reading these errors. So again, sometimes you have to sort out one at a time. In this case, the first error is kind of simply fixed because when I came in to say string, it's saying, it's the error it's saying right there is it cannot find the symbol. Well, I know how to find that symbol in a very quick and easy way. I can use the tool and use code complete. So I'm going to go on to string here. It doesn't matter where. Best place is at the end of it, but I could do it earlier as well, and hit control space. When I'm at the S here, you can see it gives me a lot of different options for what's going on. It doesn't, none of those things seem to make sense. But as I move over, you can see my choices become lesser and lesser. And I can see now my error here is I had lowercase s string where I need capital S string, and I can hit enter to fix that. Now, because I wasn't at the end of the line, it actually keeps an extra G around. And it doesn't actually fix my error, but I can delete that extra G, and it fixes my first error outside of there. So I save my file, Control S, and now I still have an error, but notice that first error is gone. Now, to a fault, NetBeans didn't make it clear there was two errors on here. It was just it just showed the one. But now I can see there's an unclosed li character literal. What in the world does that mean? Unclosed character literal, not a statement. This is one of those that you could probably search on the air, go to Google and search on the air, and go off and um, try it out. Find it right there. You could read a book a little bit. I mean, I can see from doing a lot of Java, the problem is I used single quotes, which is representing characters, around more than one character. And really what I'm trying to do is build a string, <laughs> excuse me, which requires double quotes. Now, one of the dangerous options that's available to you here in NetBeans, and I say dangerous because it's not always helpful, as you can see, it says hit Alt and Enter to show some hints. So if I hold down the Alt key and I hit Enter here, it shows me not something terribly useful. Oh, there you go. Split into declaration and assignment is what it says. Now, I don't know what that's going to do. If you don't know what it's going to do, it might not be helpful. It's suggesting something based off of its best guess, but if it was smart enough to code, there'd be no reason to have you here learn in Java. So if I hit this, you can see what it did. Well, it just kind of put it on another line. And so what it's saying is, oh gosh, I still need to assign something there. It didn't fix something here, but it threw this down in the next line, and it didn't fix my problem at all. It didn't fix anything at all right, there, right inside of there. It just, it just totally screwed it up. So you have to say that the hints have to be taken with a grain of salt. The better option is to go figure out what the problem is on your own. And in this case, you can say, there you go. I put the quotes around there, and my code now compiles. So there's a yellow bulb here. No more errors inside of there. 
it gives me a suggestion at this point. May split declaration into a declaration and assignment. I hit Alt Enter inside of there, and then it goes through, and this is what it meant to do to begin with. Separate out the declaration and the assignment. It's not really all that valuable at that point. Um, and it, it'll constantly have these suggestions, but the suggestions are just that. It's just kind of a guess of something you might want to do in the world, and you don't need to follow them at all. You need to make smart choices of what's going to happen. Just the big warning out there, if I said string foo, and I have this arrow here, and I say alt enter, one of the suggestions it'll give me is to go off and create a string class in some package that's out there. This would be a terrible idea. If I know this thing is lives somewhere else, then I should be using it living somewhere else. If you would choose this option, it would go through, you can see here, and it created another class, another file called string, and now it's up to you to do all the work. Unless you know how to go and solve all those things, you know how to create a string, you know how to write to a screen, you know how to read from a file, any, whatever you're trying to do, code complete can be difficult. It can be unpleasant and unkind to you, and it'll solve the problem, but it's not going to actually do anything for me. I can't go through here and say foo is equal to test. This will not compile, and I'm just compounding my problems. So be aware of that suggestion. Code complete, helpful. Alt enter, not so much. It's not always su su helpful unless you know exactly what you want to have happen, and it's just simply saving you the, the ability to type it out. So there's a little bit of some hints on working through some of these errors. Be patient, code small, and you'll have a much better chance of being able to fix the errors one at a time and not getting lost. And hey, worst case scenario, go ask for help before you get too deep. Best of luck.